Do you work in a team and ever needed a mechanism to split the payments that your team receives? Ever wanted the guarantees of the blockchain to make sure that the amount of payments that you receive, the amount of revenue that you receive, your share is always consistent and backed by the blockchain. What's up clubbers GM 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 welcome to Web3 Club and in today's video we are going to implement the payment splitter. This is a contract that helps us split Ether or ERC20 tokens among a group of accounts. I'm doing this video because a couple of people asked for it in the YouTube comments and in my Discord server. So if you want me to create a video on your topic, please let me know in the YouTube comments down below. And before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to contact me for some consultation, my email address is in the about section of my YouTube profile. And if you have a specific question, Come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. Alright with that said let's get started. So payment splitter is again a module by open zeppelin that we can directly go ahead and use. To get started we will need to basically import the payment splitter in our contract and then work with it. So we are going to do just that we are going to import this payment splitter in our smart contract and then see how it works. So I'm going to copy this line by just pressing over here and I'm going to open remix.ethereum.org All right, once remix is open, just go here, click on blank and have a blank workspace. Then we create a new contract over here and just call it split.sol. Uh, let me increase the font size. Then I add an SPDX license identifier and pragma solidity. Next up, I paste the code that I copied, which is basically open zeppelin slash contracts slash finance slash payment splitter dot sol so we import this file and then we basically go ahead and create our contract called split and we make sure that it is a payment splitter like we inherit from payment splitter now once we do that uh, i need to create a constructor and that constructor sort of is a payable function and it calls the payment splitters constructor now the payment splitter constructor if you want to check out it takes a few things it requires pays and shares. So I just copy that line and put it over here in my constructor as well. And then once I have that, I just need to send pays and shares over here. So what I'm doing essentially is creating a constructor that calls the super constructor. If you want to see what the whole thing looks like, this is what it looks like. It's very uh, hard to read, I guess. Let me just increase the font size back again. Or one thing I think we, I can do is just split it in multiple lines. That should be easier for everybody involved. Hopefully it's much more readable now. So this is the constructor. It, ha it has two things. It has an array of pays and array of shares. So what is a pay and what is a share? So pay is the address where the person actually is. So if in my team there is me and one more person, so I will add my address and their address over here. And then there is shares. Shares just describe how many shares both of us own. So if I own 50% and the other person owns 50%, I can just write one share for me, one share for them. And that is exactly 50%. If I own 10% and they own 90%, I can add one share for me, nine shares for them. If I own one third, they own one third and I have one more team member for one third. So I add the three addresses over there and three, uh, you know, shares over here, one, one, one each. So basically shares are like the ratio in which, you know, the payment should be split. So once you understand that this is all the code that you need, you in fact, what you do, what you can do is you don't even need the payment splitter. You can directly uh, deploy the payment splitter as is, but I did not have access to it. So I'm just doing it this way. Uh, so the next thing that I'll do is go here and start deploying before I deploy. I hope you can see this or no. If not, let me just increase the font size. All right. So now uh, before I deploy, let's assume we have two people in the team. One person owns 40%, the other person owns 60%. So the two people that we have is this account, the second account and the third account. All right. So let me copy the second account, second, second account, <laughs> sorry, second account. Uh, and then in the pay section, I will make this an array and put it as a string over here like this so you can see that there's a string over here 
then I add another uh, string over here and I this time copy the third address and I paste it over here all right so you can see that uh, if I copy and just paste it over here this is what it sort of looks like uh, one element and then the second element you can see all right so this is what it looks like the next thing that we will do is enter the shares so for shares I can have two for me for the first person actually and three for the second person because two and three is 40% and 60% if you want to make it much easier for yourself you can also do 40 and 60 over here that's not an issue so once we have these things uh, let me just go back to my main account and then click transact once the transaction succeeds you can see that there's a deployed contract over here let me open that now once i open that there are a bunch of uh, methods available over here uh, which you really don't need to understand a lot of uh, just one thing that you can figure out is if you copy let's say one of the accounts you can get the number of shares that that account owns so you can see that 40 shares this account owns and similarly you will see that the other account owns 60 shares and if you check for a third account let's say my own account you will see that i own zero shares all right so now we have this uh, let's send some eth to this address to do that let me just go back to the first account and uh, i just need to go to value and let's say in ether i want to send 10 eth all right uh, and to send it to a smart contract uh, just go here at the low level interaction put nothing in the call data and click transact the transaction should should succeed and you can see that the balance is 10 eth all right now we have that so now how do we withdraw this eth to our accounts because right now you can see that uh, the the two accounts that are there only have 100 and 100 eth they don't have um, the 10 ETH which is actually with the sm deployed smart contract. So to do that simply copy the address and anybody can just copy the address and paste here and click on release. All right. So there are two release. One is for uh, Ether and the other is for ERC20 token. So we just right now are showcasing the Ether one. So uh, I just click transact or you know I can just click release over here. So I click release. And once the transaction succeeds, you can see the balance is now 6 ETH because 40% of 6 of 10 is 4. So 6 is remaining. Uh, and you can see that the second address now has 104 ETH uh, from 100 ETH that it initially had. Similarly, I can copy the third address which has 60% of the shares and I click on release again. You can see the transaction has succeeded and this time they have 106 and the other one has 104. So this is how payment splitter generally works with ETH. Now how do we make it work with an ERC20 token? So to do that first we need to deploy an ERC20 token so that I can show you how it works. To create an ERC20 token I am here at the Open Zeppelin wizard and I am going to pre-mint some tokens and I am going to copy the whole code. Uh, once I have that. I can just go here in my workspace and create a new file which is my token.sol and just paste this code over here. Now once that thing is done, I'm waiting for it to compile. Once the compilation succeeds, I just need to deploy the token over here. Once the deployment is done, you can see that we have a my token available over here. Now my own address has a balance of some values and you can check the balance of the smart contract will be zero at this point and it is zero so why don't we send some tokens to our smart contract so to do that we just call the transfer function with the smart contracts address and the amount of tokens that we want to send will be let's say one something something some zeros all right uh, so i click transact and now once the transaction succeeds if i check the balance it will be one zero zero something something all right so now a smart contract has some erc20 tokens now we want to split these tokens or actually settle these token back to our accounts so to do that simply open this uh, release again the second one not the first one and enter uh, the address of the account with which you know we can we want to pull out our tokens 
all right split our token so if i uh, if i check the balance of the account you can see it is zero right now and this time i will paste the address of my account and i will also need the address of my erc20 token and i paste it over here click transact the transaction succeeds and now if you check the balance it is for something something i'm pretty sure one zero is less all right so this is how it works for erc20 tokens and similarly you can test it out with whatever you want but this is generally how you do payment splitting when you're working in a team so now let's say you had a team of 10 people everybody owning 10 percent of the company uh, you will create a smart contract and deploy you will basically deploy this split.sol smart contract uh, with 10 addresses over here and 10 shares like 11111 an array of 111 over here and simply use that smart contract address in an open c uh, royalty or nft royalty address or whatever and that is how you will sort of end up working as a team and that is it this is all that you need to understand about payment splitting if you like this video and if this video was helpful to you please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel please please do it as i mentioned earlier in the video i made this video because a bunch of people asked for it in my youtube comments so if you have a request please let me know in the youtube comments and i will try to make a video on that if you want to contact me for some sort of consultation or sponsoring a video my email address is in the about section of my YouTube profile and if you have a specific question, if you're stuck somewhere, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. I hope to see you again next week. Till then, bye-bye.